Hello guys, how you doing? My name is Rod Steven and today I'm going to show you how to make a Cubit Brass on Serum. The sound we're gonna make is gonna sound like this. Pretty nice, right? Okay, so let's get started with the initial preset. We're gonna use the oscillator A and oscillator B. We're gonna select the basic shapes. There it is, basic shapes. We're gonna select a side wave for both oscillators. There it is. Uh, for the first one, we're gonna increase the unison until five voices. The tune around 0 0.0.6. Uh, for the second one, we're gonna use just four voices. The tune around 0 0.03. There it is. And adjust the plane for pause later. Sorry, I forgot that. Use put 85. Hold on. 85. 85. There it is. Uh, we're gonna use the envelope one for adjust the volume, the amplitude. Uh, for that, we're not, we're not gonna use any attack, just put it all the way down to the left. Uh, the cage, we're gonna put it 250 milliseconds. Uh, sustain minus 4 dB. that's too much yeah like this uh release 183 and let's see how it sounds i'm gonna adjust a little bit the, the tension yep sounds good so far it's good okay we're gonna grab the envelope one and put it on the detune amount for pop oscillators we're gonna decrease it you select around 20 25 there it is same with the second one there it is let's see how it sounds Yeah, sounds good. Start, start to sound a little bit brassy. Now we're gonna use the envelope two. We're gonna put this one on the on the course bit. And we're gonna use mostly decay. So we don't use this attack, sustain, and the decay is gonna be use 94 milliseconds. But we wanna make sure that this is in unipolar so for that i'm gonna use the matrix and change it like this there you go let's see how it sounds we're gonna adjust a little bit the tension as well yep sounds good now we're gonna turn on the filter and we're gonna make sure that the the p is is on we're gonna put the cut off almost all the way down to the right just a little bit no not all of it like this just a little bit less maybe like this increase the release just a little bit let's see how it sounds Sounds good. Now we go to the effects. We're not gonna use too much, so just basic stuff like compressor and increase the gain just a little bit. Maybe a little bit more. Yep. Now we're gonna use the EQ. We're gonna remove the low frequencies and adjust a little bit like this 
maybe increase just a little bit. Hold on, there it is. Yeah, sounds good. Now we're gonna use the LFO one for make the vibrato, I mean, vibrato effect. So for that, we're gonna grab it and put it on the fine tune for both oscillators. And we're gonna make sure the trip is on and adjust it like this. We're going, we're going to matrix and and select the source modulation wheel for both. Make sure that we're gonna use both, and it should be sound like this. Let me let me show. Modulation is on, and we make sure the pitch pin is uh, full of the. There he is. Let's see how it sounds. So, yeah, that's basically it. But I like to add the envelope to on the level of the second oscillator. It's gonna make a, a blocky effect, which sounds good. You can skip that if you want, but for me, I like it. Let's see how it sounds now. Yeah, it's pretty nice. So that's basically it. So thank you guys for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for and, and check my other stuff. I am gonna show you're gonna love it if you're a Eurobeat fan. And if it's not, check it as well. Give it a try. So this is it for now and I'll see you in the next video.